Hey, what's up, Sicklet? Um, let's try this again. Uh, your six questions about Juggalos. One, what is a Juggalo? A Juggalo is a fan of the Insane Clown Posse, Psychopathic Records. Really, you can be a fan of anybody off Psychopathic and, in my opinion, call yourself a Juggalo. Because you can be a fan of Boondocks and be just as big a Juggalo as anybody who listens to ICP. You know, it might be better if you listen to more artists than just one or two, because the more knowledge you have, the I guess more respect you would get in certain circles, but that's not really what it's about. What being a juggler about, your second question, uh, what it's about to me is being accepted for who you are and, you know, age, race, gender, religion, hairstyle, whatever, none of that matters as long as you're being true and not playing games with people. Uh, number three, why am I a juggalo? Well, first, obviously, it started with the music. And once I got into that and I started realizing the family aspect of it, where I can be accepted, you know, by somebody, even somebody, you know, where I came from a different neighborhood, grew up, different lifestyle, all that, they're just like me in a, a way we can connect with each other where people, you know, everyday people don't really connect with each other that way. You know, if you run into somebody at a store and talk to them, you're not going to connect with them as one juggalo would run into another random juggalo. Because there's just that instant bond, I guess the best, best way I can put it. Uh, what does being a juggalo mean to me? Like I said, the, the family aspect. Yeah, knowing that no matter what I'm going through in my life, I can have a group of people that I can turn to, people that in some cases I don't even know at all, never met in my life, and they'll talk to me about my problems and listen to me, hear what I have to say without judging me, without making fun of me, without, you know, having to criticize me or anything like that. And, you know, like I said, just one word can describe it all as acceptance. Uh, what do I think of the stereotypes against us? Well, the first stereotype that you bring up, or the one that point comes out to me, sticks out to me, excuse me, is uh, the trailer trash stereotype. Because I grew up in a trailer. I'm 24 years old. I still live in a trailer. It's a really nice trailer. So the term trailer trash don't bother me because I heard it before I was a juggalo. I've heard it since I've become a juggalo. So I've heard it all my life. And I've always told people that if you're going to call me trailer trash, make sure you call me upper class trailer trash because I got a nice trailer. It's better than some people's trailers. And if you live in a rundown trailer, so what, you know? People can only live with what they can afford to live in, so I ain't gonna put somebody down because of where they live. Um, about being a gang, well, the be best way I can describe this is look at most gangs, you know, street gangs, biker gangs, things like that. They have some sort, of, some sort of initiation, like either they beat you up to become part of the gang, or you have to commit a crime to be part of a gang. You don't have to do any of that to be a juggalo. All you have to do is enjoy the music that comes from Psychopathic Records. There's no initiation process. The worst thing I've ever seen happen to a, a newer juggalo is someone gave him a kind of a pop quiz. So if you want to call that gang-like activity, then go ahead. I mean, there are some bad apples. There are in every group. But, you know, jugglers for some reason seem, when, when one goes, you know, off the path, we all get kind of drugged with them. Just because of the image that the media puts, a, puts out of us. You know, there's bad apples in every group, you know. Country music fans get arrested. Easy listening fans get arrested. I'm sure there's 
Lady Gaga fans that get arrested for something, but you never hear anything about them because that mainstream music don't have the same image. That that mainstream group don't have the same image that the media gives the Juggalos. Just because the music that we listen to is a little bit more violent and nobody wants to dig deeper into the meaning of the music they just want to take it for its face value and you know the media can spin things the way they want to spin it and make anybody look bad if they want to it just so happens that anytime juggles get brought up in the news the media spins it to where we're some kind of crazy cult or gang uh, your final question, what drew me to be a juggalo, to the juggalos and becoming one? Well, like I said, what drew me to it was the music. And what kept me there was the, the acceptance, the family bond that I had with all the juggalos that I met back then, all the juggalos that I still meet today. I've been a juggalo for almost 12 years now or however long it's been. It's been a long time. Uh, first album that I heard was Carnival of Carnage, but I was really young when I heard that, because I heard that through a cousin. The first album I can say I really heard that I connected with was Riddlebox. And I've been a juggalo ever since, and that was, what, 1994? So, it's been closer to 15 years now that I think about it. And you know, I meet new Juggalos today that are younger and, you know, they don't have the knowledge. There are some younger Juggalos that tend to run around and cause trouble. But at the same time, I defy anybody to find one kid in, in the world today that doesn't get into some amount of trouble, whether it be getting grounded or getting arrested, you know, when they're that young, kids will be kids. So, that's just kind of what happens. Like, that goes back to the stereotypes of being a gang, but some people just gotta remember kids will be kids. And just because some little hyper 14 year old decided he was gonna break into some store or something, or I don't know, fast food restaurant, whatever, and try to rob somebody, and then he claims Juggalo doesn't mean that all Juggalos are like that. For the most part, any person that doesn't know what a Juggalo is, doesn't know what it's about, if they don't like us for whatever reason, just take 10, 15 minutes out of your day and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a level-headed Juggalo and let them tell you what it's about. And I'm not saying, you know, try to let them convert you because you don't have to become a juggalo. Just try to understand what it's about. Don't disrespect us if we haven't disrespected you, is basically what I'm trying to say. Because if you're not a juggalo, I respect your opinion. And I won't sit here and try to convert you and bring you to my side just as much as I hope you wouldn't be trying to convert me to you know stop being a juggler but um I hope this video is a little bit better than the last one I know I kinda messed a couple things up there so I know you'll be editing edit, chopping them up and editing them up and everything so hopefully you can make this one look a little bit better than the last one and yeah, I hope I helped out a little bit. Like